guys, how you doing? It's Henry at Mowers and Blowers. Don't mind me, I'm doing a review on my gun channel. So I needed a hat real quick. <laughs> Just an update on my uh, go-kart, uh, not my go-kart, my golf cart, my easy go uh, utility 1200 uh, workhorse, which is almost done. Brakes are still eh, kind of iffy, you know, but my problem right now is my battery. The battery I have in here is my old Mercedes-Benz AGM battery. Uh, it was still working, you know, before I started testing with this thing, but testing it and testing it, charging it like numerous times, it's now completely dead. So right now I'm giving it one more try. I'm getting the conventional battery charger out and I'm putting the, the sulfator on at the same time hopefully to bring that battery back to life again. If not, to test the brakes and this golf cart, I've been waiting so long to do it, you know, I might have to just put a, one of my good uh, lawn tractor batteries. It's a different hookup, you know, this is a car battery with the terminals that are cylindrical and the golf cart batteries are, you know, the kind where you put a couple of uh, 716 nuts and bolts through it. So I'll have to kind of fabricate a way to, to put those clamps onto a lawn tractor battery which will be you know uh, pretty easy I guess but I'll just have to do it you know if this doesn't work when I was looking through my uh, stuff in the garage I saw this <laughs> it's a brand new top done battery char uh, tester it's a battery tester uh, cranking tester and a charging tester uh, I don't remember when I got it, why I got it. They haven't emailed me to say, hey, where's our review video? I don't even remember where I got it. So I figure I'd just test this out right now and uh, see the status of that battery prior to me plugging in the charger. So this is what I got going on right here. There is my uh, AGM battery and I have the uh, die-hard conventional battery charger on it with the sulfator on it. I uh, haven't plugged it in yet. So here it is right here. Um, top done, RD battery 101, battery test, cranking test, charging test. Has a 2.4 inch LCD black and white screen. It's got two alligator clips in it. I assume that there's no battery input. Oh, wait a minute. There's a uh, USB thingamajig here. Maybe is that to charge it? Is there an internal battery in here, you think? Or will it only work when it's plugged into power? So let's say you had a dead battery. Would you be able to uh, turn it on? It doesn't make any sense. If you had a dead battery, how are you going to test it, you know, if it's not powered? I'll look into this. I was right. I looked at the instructions real quick. This is not powered. The only way this will work is if you already have a charged battery. Is that the most ridiculous thing ever? God. So this is a good battery. Press OK. And it tells you a battery test. OK. Regular, flooded. Okay, so it gives you a choice of AGM also. AGM spiral, gel, EFB. I don't know what that stuff means. We'll just do a regular one. CCA, select okay. 500 CCA, testing. It's not really a 500 CCA, it's a 230, but whatever. It says replace, health. Healthy, 35%. Charge, 100%. That's a new battery. <laughs> it says August 2021 on here. You know, I got to tell you, these uh, Walmart batteries, they're not like they used to be. Now I'm uh, testing that one there. This one here is actually an older AutoCraft. That's a 340 CCA. I got it out of one of the tractors in the back. Let's test this one. I mean, it's a pretty good tester, I guess. Pretty precise if you have a, you know, charged battery. Oh, look at that. 
This says uh, 52% healthy, 100% charged, and it says it's a good battery. How about it? Maybe I'll use that one for the golf cart because this has more cranking amps, which is good. All right, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's do a cranking test, huh? Take it down to crank test. We'll do okay. Start engine? Oh, uh, well, I can't do that. <laughs> I guess you get the point. Okay, so uh, I plugged it in. So it's now charging this battery. The battery is completely dead. I used a multimeter. It, it said like 0 0.07 or something like that. So this battery is completely dunsky, you know? Uh, so I'm going to charge it with the... Uh, desulfator on here. I've had some pretty good success with the desulfator, so it's pulsing, but I think it only really pulses and works once this battery is somewhat charged. So I'll give you an update on uh, what happens here. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. Later.